Hey guys, I'm getting the feeling that maybe y'all need a little bit of extra help on your study guide. So here is a quick review. I'm going to literally go through what we have on the study guide. Um, number one was what continent did Portugal establish trade with? Well, it's the continent that's here on our screen. This is the continent of Africa. And the three kingdoms that were in power during this time were Ghana, Mali, and Songhai. Remember, we talked about that. Two things that Portugal got from Africa for trading manufacturers, ma manufactured goods for cloth would have been gold and they would have been salt. And the name of the river that these um, kingdoms were by was the Niger River. And here it is on the map, the Niger River. Now, um, the next thing that we look at is um, the area that's just north of these African kingdoms that was so difficult to travel across would have been the Sahara Desert. Remember, we said that they came across on camels and that it was a very dangerous journey. Now, in your notes, we want to know what the, the motivation is for exploring. Why did these guys travel across the ocean? Why did they decide that coming over here was so good? Well, these motivations would be our God, gold, and glory. That's our religious conversion, economic opportunity, and faster trade routes and the superiority of their culture. They wanted that power. Now, the European country that had the most conflict with the Native Americans was Spain. Remember, Spain was not a very good, um, not a very good um, friend to the Native Americans when they came over here. The French explorers established a relationship with the Native Americans through setting up fur trade or trading posts all through the Mississippi River Valley. Now, the accomplishments of exploration are on a foldable in your interactive notebook, and those are that they exchanged goods and ideas, they improved their navigational tools and maps, and they were able to claim land for their country. Now, moving into the cultural interactions that each country had with the Native Americans, the Spanish they conquered and enslaved the American Indians and claimed and controlled their lands. They converted the American Indians to Catholicism and they brought disease. So our three answers here are conquered and enslaved, converted, and brought disease. Now the French, they had um, cultural interactions that were a lot more positive. They exchanged or traded items they cooperated and studied their the Native American culture. They trapped and hunted, and then they converted them to Catholicism. So again, that was exchanging and trading, studied the culture, trapped and hunted, and converted them. In England, their interactions were establishing settlements, claiming ownership of land, learning farming techniques, and trading goods. So establishing settlements, claiming land, learning farming techniques, and trading goods. Now, how did the Native Americans feel about owning land? They really did not believe that the land in North America was going to be owned by anyone. They thought it was to be shared and not owned by any person or a group of people. They respected the natural resources and the animals and they used them to meet their most basic needs. The areas of conflict between the Europeans and the Native Americans were that um, religious conflict, cultural differences, land ownership, and disease. Those were the four things that were not good in that relationship between the Native Americans and the Europeans. And the cooperative areas, the areas of cooperation between the Europeans and the North Americans were hunting and trapping, farming, trading, and sharing ideas. So I hope that that clarifies and I hope that you all are going, oh yeah, I remember that now. And I hope that you will study for this test and do more than just listen and watch this video and do a little bit more than just fill out your study guide. Really look over it. Really do what you need to do to get ready.
for this test tomorrow, and I will see you tomorrow.